What's going on, my YouTube family? Uh, don't mind me. Today is a little bit cold here in Florida. I got my comfy, worn out sweater. Um, so yeah, uh, today I'm gonna be talking about something that happened to me last night. It started, but I've been dealing with it all morning. So this is something that pretty much stopped me from doing any kind of work today. Um, I just don't want to mess things up. So if you guys want to hear about it, stay tuned right after this intro. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you for watching that intro. Um, so th the problem that I'm having is with the actual version of Silhouette Studio. I have the business edition and I was using the original version uh, 4.3.370. I had upgraded to the 4.4, but they had a lot of issues going on with the 4.4. So when I contacted them the last time, <clears throat> they told me to go back a, a better version. And I did, and I went back to the 4.3.370. Now the thing worked flawlessly for me. I never had an issue with it. Uh, a lot of people say it freezes, whatever. I no, don't, didn't have an issue with that version. So last night, I decided to say, you know what? Let me update. I said, I haven't did that in a long time. Maybe the, you know, especially the cutter gets an update as well. So I said, let me just update this and let's see what happens. So I ended up updating to the new one, which was the uh, 4.5.152. Why I do it, I have no clue why I did it, but I just figured, I said, it's been, a, it's been a while, let me do it. So I did it last night and I'm having a problem, an issue with the sizing okay, when you, when you put it on the on the actual, let me go open up the Silhouette Studio so I can see what I'm gonna explain to you guys. Um, so yeah, when I open up Silhouette Studio, uh, usually it'll show you a mat. Now, I like to cut certain things on a mat, especially if it's under the 15 inches. I'll cut it on my, a mat, it's more stable for me. Unless I'm cutting something really long, then I would use the roll feed. <clears throat> but where I have my, cutter at is, is better to do it on the map because it's more stable. So I did the update last night and what's happening to me is that the mat on the 4.3 version used to be 14 inches wide by 15 inches long, which is great because any t-shirt or any kind of you know decal that you're doing, it, it it it'll work out for that size. So my thing is right now is that once I did the update, the biggest it will go wide is 13.750, which is 13 and three quarters, pretty much in English term. And lengthwise will only give me 14.961. Well, 14.961 is pretty close to 15. So I don't mind the height, the height part of it so much. It doesn't bother me. <clears throat> but the width part about it, I'm losing a quarter inch. So that little quarter inch, I used to make actual, you know, decals or whatever that size wide. And I'll have an eighth of an inch from each side from the, from the cut border. So now I have to shrink most of my designs that I had that wide to accommodate for that quarter inch that we're losing. And believe it or not, a quarter inch for me is a big deal. Uh, and people might say, no, it's not a big deal, but for me, it's a big deal. So let me add in this clip so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And I'll be right back issues I'm having after updating uh, right now when you constrain to mat 
it puts it at 13,750, 14,961. I'm losing a quarter inch to the 14th, and this side is okay. If I come over here to change it to 14 inches wide and 15 inches in height, now, instead of it coming to the end here, it's actually going over on the left side. And the same bottom is fine. So yeah, I don't know how to fix this to center it. I don't know if it's an issue when I go to cut it. But in order for me to do that, if I click down, it comes back. But you have to put it at 13,750 and you're still losing that quarter inch on this side. And the, the bottom will be 14.961. But if you try to go to 15, it won't let you. So if I put it in manually, 15, it still won't let you. It won't even let you change the bottom. Please help. All right, guys. I hope that you've seen this, that little clip that I did. Um, that was real early in the morning. That was about 6 o'clock this morning. Um, that is the email. Um, that is the, the clip that I was going to send to Silhouette so they can help me out with this. Like I said, in the 4.4 version, I had the same problem and I had to go back to the legacy version of 4.3.370. So pretty much, I think that's going to be the same result with this. I think I'm going to have to go back into, you know, the 4.3.370. I'm sorry, I'm tongue twisted here. Um... So, yeah, I think that, that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to go back to Legacy. But I'm still waiting on an email back. It's about 1.30 right now in the afternoon. And they're on Mountain Time. So they're about two hours behind us. So it's about what, 11, 11.30. And I still have not And I send that email at 6 something in the morning. So they must have got it at 4. So I don't know what's going on. But I think that Silhouette Studio needs, or whoever's programming their stuff, they need to be on their ball. I mean, they need to start correcting these things. We shouldn't have to be dealing with this. Like I said, if I'm on the older version, it's walk, working pr flawlessly. So why don't you keep the same settings as the older version, but just keep fixing little tiny things from the older version. This right here, it's, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a bunch. So, yeah, I'm still waiting on the email, like I said before. So let's see what's going to go on. I guess I'll come back to you guys once I receive that email. So that way we can go from there. All right, guys, I'm back. Right now, I feel like uh, I want to curse and I want to actually say something to Silhouette. Well, the designers or the people who make this stuff. It is seven o'clock at night. And I've been waiting for this email. I usually close at five. I'm, I've been sitting here waiting for this email. I have gotten no return email from them. So pretty much uh, anything that I had to do with cutting wise, or making anybody any kind of shirts or something like that, I lost a whole day. It's, it's just, it's unbelievable. I mean, they're supposed to be making these programs to where they're fixing all the bugs and stuff that's going on, and they're not. Uh, they're making these new ones after you see when you buy the business studio, when you buy the business version of it, uh, you're looking at $99, $99, $100. Dollars. 
So once you buy that version to get the business studio, you can only download that four times. So, I mean, well, yeah, you use it the first time, then you have three left after that. So any other computer you put it on, whether it's a laptop or something like that, every time you download that key, it's another uh, usage. So right now, I had three, and because I had to go backwards to the legacy version, now I'm down to two. So I lost one, not of my fault, but pretty much they're designers. So now, if I wanted to use another computer or my computer crashes and I gotta buy another computer, I can't use that key unless I have the updated version. If you have the updated version, you never have to enter that key. But because I had to go back to the legacy version, I lost the key. So I'm down to two. Now, I just don't understand. I mean, this is completely, completely, I think it's, it's unfair to us customers that pay the money for the better version and to have to go back to the legacy version and lose a key is, is, is outrageous. I mean, I, I, I don't know what else to say about that. That's, that's beyond ridiculous. And I'm sorry, guys, I know I'm ranting on this. I just wasted a whole day. Like I said, at 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, right before I opened up, I emailed these people thinking that, you know, hey, they'll get back to me two or three hours. So at least I could have work for the rest of the day and I won't lose a whole day. Mind you, I lost a whole damn day. So I made absolutely zero money today waiting for an email, which to, to, to actually losing money, to losing now a key, or I should have said key because I didn't lose the key. I lost one of my entries to put a key in. It's just, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's, so mind you guys, I just, just to, to keep you up. If you don't have to download any new ones, don't. If you got business edition and you're still running the 4.3, stay with it. Don't move to a, a newer one because it, if you ever got to go back, it's going to be pointless. It's just pointless. I mean, just stay like they always told me when I was growing up. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. I repeat it. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. Because you're going to find yourself losing something else that you didn't want to lose. But now, guess what? It's gone. So not only did I lose a day of work, now tomorrow I got to work double time to get these orders that, that I have in out. Because I lost a whole day. Silhouette, if you're listening to me on this, shame on you. I am, and I give this machine a lot of props because I use it every day and I know that it can work. It's a workhorse and I know it can push out the work that it has to be pushed out. But I mean, come on, man. Something as simple as this, you're, you're writing software for your equipment that you're selling for $400 or better. The least you can do is make it run smoothly. And if we bought a key and every time we have to go downgrade a, a legacy because of your, I don't want to say knowledge or your making of the, your, your little whole program and we got to lose. And the thing is that even if I, I I don't have no more keys, 
I can't even buy it. Or maybe I could buy it. I just haven't reached that point. But come on, man. I don't see anywhere else, any other cutter out there that's doing that. Like, you buy that cutter, you buy the, the legacy version, you have the key, you can enter that key wherever computer that you are using. I understand. I mean, if it's registered to you, it's registered to you. You have to put your email in, you have to put your password in. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's you. Now, if you see that if somebody's using it down in New York or down in California or something like that, I mean, I'm pretty sure they can trace it, then notify the owner. And if it's not them, then don't, don't let them use it. Put a safety on it. But for us to lose something that we pay for and that we're still paying for, come on, man, that, that's, that's, that's crazy. So guys, on a quick, quick note, mine's is actually back to normal on the 4.3.3. I'll switch it here so I can show you what I was talking about. So this is the business edition. Now, if you, I'm sorry that the camera angle, because I can't see once I'm in this. But you see how it's 14 inches and then the bottom is 15 inches. I'm sorry about the camera view. And everything's back to normal. I mean, at least for me, it's back to normal. That's all I needed. All right, guys, I don't want to make this long, but don't, don't go up. If you already have the business edition and you're at the 4.3, stay there. Stay there until they can get there together. Stay there. I don't care what any YouTuber out there is telling you, don't move up because it's going to mess your whole thing up. And stay with what you know. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. Guys, thank you for watching again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Sorry about the rant, the long rant, and the long wait, and all the parts in it. But peace.